What's going on everybody? i uh, got a little video tutorial I'm going to do with you today. Uh, I've actually had a lot of issues with customers that are buying these disk drives and they don't understand what they have to do to install them. Um, this is for the Xbox One and we're essentially just going to be swapping the old drive, which is what this is, with a new working replacement drive. Um, these are not plug and play and that means you can't just buy one rip out the old one, plug in the new one, and get to gaming. Um, each disk drive board or disk drive has a disk drive board inside of it um, and they are unique to each motherboard. There's a unique matching system so if you were to plug in a replacement drive without swapping out the disk drive boards uh, you, you should still be able to play movies, uh, Blu-rays, stuff like that, but you would not be able to play games. It wouldn't even recognize that you've put a game inside of it. Um, so with that, this is the old drive. Um, I've already got the screws out of here, but what you're going to need to do is there's a screw here, here, and then you got to kind of, for this right here, it kind of peels back, and that will reveal a screw. And the same thing for this side. You peel that back and it reveals the screw. So, take those out. Uh, oh, sorry. I should tell you what you need. You do need one of these little screwdrivers, some solder, and your soldering iron. That's actually all you need um, to get this done. So, we're going to assume you've taken those screws out. Now, this is the disk drive board I was talking about. This is the original drive right here. Um, so, we want to keep this one. So what I do is after, I'm t after I take this out, I put it inside the console that's taken apart to make sure I remember that this is the disk drive board that needs to go in the new drive. So you don't get the disk drive boards mixed up and end up having to do all these steps all over again. So, first thing we're going to do is, this has already been tinkered with, so some of the screws are taken out. There's normally a screw right here, and here, and then there's one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Set them aside. Make sure you got a good place for them. Those screws are very, very tiny, very easy to lose. Um, now, right here we have two wires. And this is the only wires on this disk drive that have to be removed and soldered. Um, these are actually for the eject motor. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your soldering iron. I've got mine set at 650 degrees. I would say you minimum need a soldering iron that will reach 550. Um, 650 to me is the minimum. Um, you know, you could even go as high as 7 to 800 and it would probably be more efficient, but I'd try not to overheat my soldering iron. Um, so all you're going to do is I kind of pull these little wires up a little bit and then I just put the soldering iron on the solder joints that they're attached to let it start to soften it up well there we go there's one as you can tell like I said this is at 650 even at 650 it takes it a second to heat it because this is the solder they use on these things are very heavy in lead which means they have a much higher melt temperature than a lot of other electronic components will. Okay, there we go. And then as I desolder, I just kind of scoot those wires out of the way. Alright, now, I'm not going to be able to show this to you because it's probably not going to focus enough. Once I get close, the camera goes, yeah, it goes way out of focus. But those two joints actually have two letters right next to them. Uh, there's a B on the top one and an R on the bottom one, and that means that the top solder joint gets the black wire and the bottom one gets the red wire. And I think that's pretty cool because um, you don't have to worry about marking these off or doing anything crazy so you can... Uh, get them in the right place. It's it's all marked right there and you can just just uh, pull it right out. Next we're going to remove all these ribbons. Each one of these ribbons has like a little latch. Uh, this one's a black latch, that one's white, and this one's black. So all you do is you just kind of pull that up lightly and then this will pop right out. Same thing with this. 
And same thing with this last one over here. Now, don't just rip this out. There's a little clip right here. So what you really want to do is you want to lift it out from the back first and then take it out that way. All right, so I'm going to set this inside my console to make sure I don't get it mixed up like we talked about earlier. Now, we're going to set this old drive aside. And here is our new drive. Now, the way I sell these is I don't include the disk drive board. 99% of the people who need this aren't going to use it unless you're doing some sort of flashing or something. You don't need a disk drive board anyway, so if you buy one, especially if you buy it from me, and you see that those plugs aren't in there, that's okay, because again, we've got to use the old board anyways. So really, that saves you a step in the installation process um, and just makes it easier on you. So, same thing with this. I've already taken the screws out, but remember there's four screws on each corner, and you got to peel these up to get to those. Just like so. And we're going to get our... Uh, old disk drive board. Now, if you got a disk drive that does have this board in it, you'll want to do what we just did to the old drive. You'll want to take all this out step by step, so if you need to follow those steps again, go ahead and rewind now, uh, and that way you will take this old board out. And make sure you take this board and set it aside so you do not get it mixed up with the board that you actually want to put in your console. Alright, now the easiest thing to do, I think, is to start out with, go ahead and insert the laser ribbon. You just kind of slide it in there, and it kind of slides under a little bit. So once you got it good and centered, you just push that little clip back over. Don't tug on it hard, just give it a very, very light snug, snug little, like you can see I'm doing. Um, if you pull hard enough, it'll come out of there, no matter what, but just be careful. Um, and if it's not in there right, you'll see that it'll it'll fall out real easy, so it's easy to tell if it's attached. Alright, so we're going to set this in there. Now remember, there's that little clip here, so we've got to insert the board into that clip first. And then we're going to ease it down. Get these wires out of the way. They're holding it up. Alright, ease it down, and then it sets in there. And we'll go ahead and insert all these other ribbons. Like that. Usually this goes so smooth, and of course when I turn the camera on, everything wants to give me a hard time. There we go. Alright, now we're going to um, solder the two wires on. And remember, if you can't remember which way they go, now if you, as you can see, the red's on the bottom, black's on the top. That is how they go. But if you, they get all out of whack or something, just remember it has R and B for uh, right next to the solder joint so you know which one goes where. Now... If while you were desoldering you took a lot of the solder off of these, it's helpful to go ahead and just add a little bit of solder now. Um, most of the time, it'll you'll still have enough solder where it doesn't make a big deal and you won't even need this. But um, if you feel like there's not enough solder, you can go ahead and melt some. Just melt a little bit on each pan. Make sure it's in there good and it's sticking good. Like so. Do the same with both pads. I think I need to change this tip. It's starting to take a while to... Alright, let me just up the temperature. Make it easier. Easier. 
just like that. Now I got some extra solder on there. It's also good to add a little bit of solder because you're probably going to have a lower melting temp and when that mixes with that higher melting temp it'll make it easier to um, attach. Now be very careful not to burn your fingers obviously but you're just going to remelt the, the solder and you're just going to set that little wire inside the melted solder and it'll cool off and it'll be in there for good. You're going to do the same thing with the back for the black. Just like that. Alright. So now we're going to take our those little teeny, they're either some of for some of you they're either going to be like little teeny black screws or they will be silver. But those are the ones that um, hold the disk drive board down. So we're going to go ahead and insert those. Don't over tighten them. Uh, this isn't construction work so you don't have to get them tight for a good hold you just get them snug and that's all you need alright now we're going to attach this now make sure you have it the right way because it is a perfect square just about so you could attach it the wrong way um, this little thing always goes in the front which is going to be this side And then we'll just take our, our screws that are a little bit bigger. Well, this one must not be lined up. Oh yeah, it was that alignment. Just a little bit. There we go. And as you, uh, I said, I think I said earlier, all these screws are very important. Uh, you don't want to lose any of these. This is actually a really good drive, and it's very well sealed. Um, you can even even see it on the uh, the PCB. They have little pieces of foam, even where they didn't really need them, just to help keep the dust out so do not skimp on the screws um, anyways that's it now at this point all you're gonna have to do is just plug it back in um, make sure you put this little guy the little stand on there that's very important um, just plug all that back in and you should be good to go assuming that you the drive you bought isn't bad of course but yeah that's all there is to this um, anyways guys I appreciate uh, you checking this video out I hope it helped you out um, going to be sending this out to my customers too since a lot of them don't seem to know beforehand that they need to install it this way. So anyways guys until next time